Hey everybody! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? <laughs> so guys, welcome to your readings for the month of December 2018. We are already at the end of the year. Where has the time gone, right? Um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when I started this channel. I started it January 8th of 2018, and it's been a really amazing year so far. Um, to grow to 12,000 subscribers in, you know, under a year, I mean, I hit the, I think I hit the 12,000 mark in October, I want to say. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for just being here, especially to those of us, or those of you that are on this Twin to Flame journey. Thank you so much for being such an amazing support system, not just for me, but for everyone else that is on here. I mean, I don't know what I would do without the support of this community here we have on YouTube and everything. So I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. You're amazing. And for those of you that are just finding the channel, welcome to the community. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Yes. So I also want to wish everybody a very happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate during this holiday season. And even if it's just for New Year's, happy holidays and happy new year, guys. It's going to be, 2019 is going to be really awesome. I can feel it. I'm really excited to, to start, to get started. Yeah. So I just want to make a quick point about um, Western astrology versus Eastern astrology. Uh, so many of you that have been following me for some time know that I recently started studying uh, Eastern or Vedic or sidereal astrology and for me personally, it's been so powerfully transformative and so accurate that I really adopted a lot of that. So that is why in the description box, you'll see I have two options. I have two versions, my Western chart and my Eastern chart. Um, I put that both of those there for those of you that still resonate with the Western chart. And I did receive a question from someone at one point asking which one... Um, you're, you are when it comes to my channel. I would say, I would recommend that you really investigate your Eastern uh, Vedic or Sidereal. They're all the same. They're like the same name for one name for the uh, different names for the same situation. <laughs> but uh, I would say, I recommend that you look up your Eastern chart because more than likely, or yeah, more than likely, most likely you are going to resonate with that one. It's more accurate. Um, it has more detail. Not everybody does. Some people find that they still resonate with the Western. So that's why I keep both of those situations there. Ultimately, it is your choice to figure, to, to understand or decipher which one, which side you resonate with more. Me personally, in my personal opinion, and if I were to approach you and have a conversation with you, I would lean more towards the Eastern side of things, but ultimately that is your decision. So if you want to figure, like, watch both sides, um, whatever signs you resonate or you have in your chart and see which side resonates with you, go right ahead. Um, but ultimately, I'm leaving that up for you guys to decide, okay? But anyway, so these are your messages for the month of December. Um, these are general, re uh, general messages. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit. You'll only make yourself uncomfortable in the process, yes? Um, they're general readings, so these energies are fluid. Um, they could, we could be talking about you specifically. We could be talking about someone else that you're connecting with or someone that's surrounding you. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below. I am going to be taking it a bit easy for the month of December, um, but I'm still available. So if you want to get a reading, go ahead and look at the description box. Yes. Um, keeping it cute, as always, with the normal stuff. We've got the Golden Universal Tarot, and we've got Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. I love unicorns. And if you know me, if you've been following the channel, you know just how much I love unicorns. Yeah? So I guess that's it, guys. Without further ado, let's do it. Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get started. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Capricorn for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. 
All right, Capricorn, so I'm seeing a light blue energy for you. Um, this is communication, but it really feels like immature communication. And if it's not in the communication, I, I feel like it's learning to communicate better. Uh, maybe coming out of some sort of immature way of learning communication. I'm sorry, uh, learning to communicate on a more mature level. There we go. Um, yeah. All right, Capricorn. But if it's not about communication, you may just be learning something new. You may be in the process of, I'm hearing starting over career-wise, business-wise, learning new skills when it comes to career. Mm -hmm. Capricorn. All right, one more shuffle for you, Capricorn. And then we're gonna get started. All right. Capricorn, here we go. All righty, Capricorn. Overall energy, we're starting you with the Six of Cups. All right, so um, nostalgia, uh, the past. There could be a soulmate coming into your life here. You could be dealing with a soulmate. Um, someone from your past, from childhood maybe, um, returning to your life. This could just be learning lessons from your past, learning lessons from your childhood. Maybe lessons that, sorry guys, street cleaner. <laughs> maybe learning some lessons that were unfinished, you know, as a child. And there may, so there may be some things that are coming back up for you right now um, that you're having to deal with, very purgy in nature. You have the Page of Wands, could be dealing with a fire sign, potentially a Sagittarius. Um, also, though, this is, for me, the Page of Wands is self-discovery, okay? And if you, as you can see, this depict this card is depicted as this man is full-grown, you know? So to me, that's saying that you can you never really stop learning about yourself. No matter where you are in life, you will always have the opportunity to find more, to learn more about yourself. You do have the Five of Pentacles here. Um, this is... I'm hearing self-deprecation, all right? Well, Capricorn, that is kind of your energy a little bit um, when negatively aspected. Leaving yourself out in the cold, okay? A feeling left out in the cold. And finally, whoop, whoop, you've got the chariot. Could be dealing with a Cancerian. Now, uh, Cancer is the opposite sign of Sa of Sag I'm sorry, of Capricorn. So some of you may actually be very much in your Cancerian energy, uh, which absolutely would promote some sort of family energy, some sort of something going on with family, uh, as Cancerians are very family oriented. You could also be a Cancerian that is very much in your Capricorn energy right now. It's, I could go either way. But ultimately, um, there's movement happening here. You could be changing jobs. You could be changing homes. You could be moving to a new state, a new country, uh, moving to a new state of being. Um, you could be dealing with a soulmate in which things may not have been the best and um, you know, you're know you rediscovering yourself through it. There could be a situation where you may feel left out in the cold by a soulmate, but this is ultimately, it could be a cancer, but this is, all, or a fire sign. It really could be any sign. It doesn't really matter. But um, if you are feeling left out in the cold by um, or neglected or somewhat something, by a soulmate, someone that you may have been married to, someone that you may have just had a longstanding relationship with, Ultimately, this stagnation in your relationship is helping you learn more about yourself, helping you deal with some childhood issues, some core wounds that maybe you never really dealt with in the past, okay? First set of energies in your first row, first set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, we've got the Two of Swords, all right? Well, something needs to be seen, and something needs to be seen in order for a decision to be made. Again, this could be dealing with a uh, romantic partner, um, a soulmate of sorts. But I really feel like that someone here, whether this is you, Capricorn, or the person that you, uh, someone that you may be dealing with, could be a business partner, could be a friend, a family member, or a romantic partner, but someone here is refusing to see something, refusing to see the truth about something, okay? The Two of Swords is coupled with, ah, the Ace of Pentacles. So there is a brand new start that's coming 
Um, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. I do know for like the past two months, what was it? It was September and October, I believe. There was a lot of energy coming up out about um, a situation with a Capricorn, between a Capricorn and a Sagittarius. Could potentially be a twin flame. Um, but I feel like, and especially if this is a twin flame situation, because we do have the Six of Cups here. Uh, especially if this is a twin flame situation, I feel like for some of you, you need to see the truth of the situation and accept a new offer or a new beginning that the universe is trying to hand to you. Some of you don't want to disconnect or move away from someone that you believe to be is your twin flame. And the universe is kind of saying to you, we have a new opportunity in the works for you, but we need you to see this as clearly as possible. We need you to see this for what it truly is. Take the blindfold off and make some sort of decision here, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, we have the Seven of Cups, illusion, dreams. You're needing to go work through all of these illusions. Again, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius because both the... the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups came out for Sagittarius, all right? You might have Sagittarius in, the, in your chart. You might just want to watch that. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of illusionary... There's a lot of illusionary stuff around you right now. And someone is really choosing not to look at it or not to see, see it for what it is, not to deal with all the different things that are in their cups right now. But all these different things are holding you back from this new opportunity that's trying to come forward for you right now. Seven of Cups is coupled with the Eight of Wands. More Sagittarius energy with the Eight of Wands here. Um, so, so you really could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but uh, communication, movement. I'm really picking up that this is communication with yourself. That needs to happen here. You need to communicate with yourself about things. You need to have a discussion with yourself about things. You need to you need to work on figuring out what it is you truly want, Capricorn, or someone connected with you. In order to get past all this illusion and make some sort of movement. You have two swift movement cards here. The chariot is underneath the deck. And then now you have the eight of wands, okay? So there is some sort of momentum that's trying to happen, but the illusions, the stagnation is keeping it from happening, okay? Keeping the movement, the momentum from really kicking in. The, your challenge here for the first row, you've got the two of cups. Again, you might want to check out that Sagittarius reading because the Two of Cups came out for Sagittarius. Um, the challenge here is union within the self. And when you come into union with yourself, if you are dealing with a soulmate, it could be a romantic partner, but it doesn't have to be. But when you come into union with yourself, then you have a better opportunity of understanding what it is you truly want in your life. So I really feel like what's going to clear up this Seven of Cups energy is you coming into union with the masculine and feminine energies within. That way you'll be really be able to know what it is you want. You'll have more confidence to see things as they truly are and you'll be able to move forward. Two of Cups is coupled with the High Priestess, you see? So the universe, there are secrets here involved, but that's, those secrets are because there is an imbalance in within. You got to listen to your higher self. You got to listen. And, and also you have to become comfortable with the unknown. And the only thing that's really going to make you comfortable with the, or allow you to become comfortable with the unknown is union within. Okay. Because then that way you don't have to worry about, <laughs> I'm hearing existential dread. I mean, if you're balanced within Whatever's going on outside of you is really not that big of a deal, right? Your closing message for the first half, for this first row here, you've got, wow, the Knight of Pentacles. Again, this card came out for Sagittarius. So some of you really may be dealing with a Sagittarian. Slow and steady wins the race. Methodical energy. Now, this is something that you are not um, foreign to. Uh, Capricorn. I mean, 
uh, uh, officially, the Knight of Pentacles would be Virgo. So you might be dealing with a Virgo. But also, this is your energy, Capricorn. And you really need to take this step by step. Don't rush any of this. Even though you have some swift movement, energy is a swift movement here between the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. Just, you got to take this step by step, slowly. Slowly work your way through all the illusions around you with the Seven of Cups, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is coupled with, ha ha, the Ten of Cups. 11-11 on the counter. The Ten of Cups is saying that you need to be moving slowly towards what it would ultimately be fulfilling for you in an emotional sense in a family environment and that may not that that may not be with the person that you're with right now if you're with somebody or you've been dealing with somebody but ultimately you need to know exactly what it is you want so that you can begin to move in this direction towards your 10 of cups okay second row here first set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, we have the Nine of Swords, anxiety, right? So this would be why you're not seeing things clearly or you don't want to see things clearly. You don't want to look at things as they are objectively and make a decision because you're wrapped up in a bunch of anxiety. But these anxieties, these are all illusions. All of them. Every single one of these Nine Swords is illusionary. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it right now. All right? You got someone has got themselves all worked up needlessly. Nine of Swords, and I really, I'm, I'm sorry, I really feel like that could be the Capricorn mostly in this situation. Nine of Swords is coupled with there's that King of Pentacles. This could be a Taurus, but this also could be you. Officially, this would be the Taurus card. You would be the Queen of Pentacles, as Capricorn is a cardinal energy, Taurus is a fixed energy. Uh, but in this situation, I feel like you're pretty fixed, Capricorn, or someone you're dealing with is pretty fixed, and they're all up in their head about it. But that is what's keeping them all up in their heads, being so fixed, mainly on the material world, on what they are dealing with materially, financially, maybe, um, the status quo, how things have been in this material manifestation so far. It's almost like they don't necessarily want to let it go, but it's causing, but that energy right there is causing them a ton of anxiety. Needless sleepless nights, nightmares, daymares, that kind of thing. Second set of surrounding energies for your second row here, Capricorn, you've got, whoa, okay, so you went from the Nine of Swords to the Ten of Swords. Well, that's good. Completion. The Nine of Swords is an ending. The Ten of Swords is the completion. So the worst is potentially behind you. Maybe not yet, but could be. Really could be. Okay? This could be the ending of a situation with uh, another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a masculine energy. Could be a twin flame that is very much stuck in uh, materialism. And for some of you, the Nine of Swords is, do I let this person go? Well, ultimately, you're going to find that you need to let them go because if they want to stay where they are, you can't do anything about that. They have to make a choice to move on their own. And the likeliness of the King of Pentacles moving is slim to none. The likeliness of the King of Pentacles to ch uh, uh, in changing his direction, changing his approach, is slim to none because he's fixed. And he's the earth sign. Like, that's the most fixed of all the signs, okay? Now, I'm saying he's he's represented by an earth card, an earth sign. It doesn't mean he is actually an earth sign, but that's where they, this masculine energy would be, all right? Ten of Swords is coupled with, <laughs> yes, the Ace of Wands. So you've gone through the ending, you've reached the completion, and now you're inspired to move in a new direction. Perfect. That is falling right in line with this Eight of Wands and the Chariot that's underneath the deck here. Your challenge when it comes to this second row here, you've got the fool. Look at that, starting over. Now this would be a challenge, taking a leap of faith. You gotta just, sometimes Capricorn, or I'm speaking to the Capricorn right now. Sometimes Capricorn, you just gotta take the, the, your hand off the wheel or take your hand off the reins and let the universe guide you and just take a leap of faith. 
No one is asking you to do this in an uncalculated manner. You do have the Knight of Pentacles here, but ultimately at some point, somebody's got to take a leap of faith. Okay? Again, that came out for Sagittarius, so you might want to watch that video. The Fool is coupled with... All right! The Eight of Pentacles. See, no one is telling you to take any sort of uncalculated risks. But it's time to start something new. It's time to take a leap of faith. It's time to start doing the work to move yourself in a new direction, Mr. King of Pentacles or Mrs. K Miss King of Pentacles, whoever you are, male or female. But you still could be holding this fixed earth energy, all right? Not wanting to budge, not wanting to do anything new. Well, sometimes you have to. Hate to break it to you. Your final message for the second row here, you've got, oh, the Three of Swords. Again, this card came out for Sagittarius. So some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarian. Um, some of you, and, and, and potential divorce did come out in that reading. So some of you might be going through a divorce. Now, um, heartbreak here, especially with your challenge, you're going through a period where you're going to need to start over and you're going to need to do the work to get yourself into a new position. Okay, Three of Swords is coupled with, yep, the, not, the Page of Pentacles starting over. <coughs> this could be more Virgo energy, um, but yeah, starting over after heartbreak. You know, I really feel like some of you, some of you might be dealing with either a breakup or a divorce. Especially if you're dealing with a Sagittarian. Because, it, like, because the Knight, I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles all came out for the Sagittarius reading. And y'all saw me shuffle. <laughs> okay. But you'll get through it. Time will tell. You'll get through it, uh, Capricorn and Sagittarius, if you're a cross-watcher. All right, let's get into your oracle guidance here from the Unicorn Oracle deck. For my Capricorns. For the month of December. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, for Capricorn for the month of December. Best message, please. There we go. Past lives. Look at that. Underneath the deck, you have gentleness. Be kind to yourself and others. Honor your gentleness. Speak words of love. So whatever, whoever is at fault in this situation, don't focus on that. Focus on compassion. If you have made some serious mistakes in this relationship, be compassionate with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Uh, understand that you, just like everyone else around you, are human and we all make mistakes from time to time, okay? So you need to be gentle with yourself. But you do have past lives here. Release your past life karma. You are, you are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. And that's the first card that came out in your overall energy, which is the Six of Cups. So some of you are really probably dealing with some sort of karmic relationship. Or if you're a twin flame, there are a lot of karmic cycles or past life energies that need to be released and healed, okay? In order for you guys either to move forward on your own or to move forward together to come into union, okay? So there it is, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I am available for private readings. Please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. Um, I'm not going to be taking as many readings for the month of December just because it's the holiday season. I do want to take a little bit of a break, um, but I don't want to completely close readings off for the whole month. So I might be, you know, taking, uh, spacing them out quite a bit. But anyway, if you would like to get a reading, all of the readings that I offer are, the are in the description box below. If you can't decide which reading to, to order, go ahead and email me. We'll chat about your situation a little bit, and I will help you pick out a reading to take, okay? 
Much love to you all. Happy holidays. I hope you all have a great December. And I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!